Hey guys, Charles95 here, bringing you a brand new RuneScape video, and this is going to be another Slayer video. Um, I recently unlocked Corridell in the Corridell's dungeon, so just let me show. Yeah, no Slayer assignment at the moment. I just did a JAD task, but when I got to JAD, my internet disconnected because my dad unplugged the computer because he had to plug the printer in for some reason to then plug into the laptop. So, yeah. I had no internet and I died and I don't have a fire cape still which is incredibly annoying and so yeah let's just get on with the video what task do I get first which is going to be order of ascension monsters these are actually really good money if you can do these I really recommend getting the slayer level for these they're really good money and they're just a really fun task actually so to make my way to ascension monsters now I've got full royal dehyde and Chaotic crossbow. I did have dual chaotic crossbows. However, I took them to Dagonoff Kings, and as soon as I entered the Dagonoff Kings floor, I disconnected because I have the worst internet in the world at home. And as soon as I like it connected again, I died, and I could not get back in time. So I lost a Fury Zerka, full Zamorok War Priest, and chaotic crossbow. So. Yeah, it was a considerable loss. I bought back the Zerka and the Fury, but I couldn't get the crossbow back, and I'm going to have to go get my War Priest back. So, I will see you guys at the end of this task. Woo, I got a key. That's another really good thing about Roaris Ascension members, is the key drops are so common, that they are like always good. You're pretty much always guaranteed to get one, and because they're consumable item, they're not just like you buy it once and you got it forever. They maintain a pretty stable price and they're all pretty decent prices. They're all a few hundred K. They go up to they go from about three hundred K up to about seven hundred K. So yeah, you can make some really good money off these key drops. Louis, oh he's got stuff from the concert. Oh man. Oh man. That scrolling grind, yeah, dude. I feel you. I mean, I know a lot of people are just like, dude, you help me feel like. A so I just finished that ascension members task. I got nearly a mil. I didn't get any more key drops, which is unfortunate. Um, it's not that unlucky. It's about average, really. I mean, I have got like three or four key drops in task before, but yeah, but it's not too bad. Okay, let's go get a new task. Okay, just about to get my second task of this video. Let's see what it is. Um. Jungle Strike Worms, uh, no, I'm going to skip those, they're really boring, I really hate Jungle Strike Worms, I might add them to the perm ban list, I'm not sure yet, uh, rewards, Simon, cancel current task, I have 420 so I can afford to cancel a few tasks, what else should you give me, hopefully something good, Hellhounds, they're decent XP, they're pretty fast so I might as well just do them. We finally got 86 magic. I'm working on it for about two days. But I mean, just doing magic for stuff I wouldn't normally do magic for. But yeah, it's good to get the level. Hopefully, getting all my skills to 90. Getting my defense to 95, so then I get flat 95 for those. And then I'll be getting my range to 90 as well. That way, I should be able to do all the God Wars bosses pretty comfortably. So, make quite a bit of money from that. So, just finished my Hellhounds task. I switched out to Malik so I really want to train my defense up. It's not the best XP task but it's really fast so you might as well just do it just for the points and not a little bit of XP. What, how can you die at Hellhound? They are the easiest but, like creature in the world. As you can see they're not very good for charms and they're also, they don't actually drop anything except for bones so you're not actually going to get any loot from these at all so I said that it only took me 20 minutes so it's pretty much worth it in my eyes. Okay, I think this is the third task this episode. Let's just see what there is. Iron Dragons, only 68 of them. Oh uh, yeah, I'm out of those. They're good XP and they're decent money for the time. There's only 68 of them, so it shouldn't take me too long.
Okay, so I'm about to finish this Iron Dragons task, and as you can see, they are insane charms. I think they drop charms three at a time. Well, I know Steel Dragons drop charms three at a time. I'm not sure how many they drop at a time that these do, but yeah, they're really good charms, so they're always worth doing if you're getting for really high summoning levels. So, as you can see, they're not the best money task, but it did only take me 20 minutes to do, so it's really worth it actually for the time taken it's about mil an hour and it gets you insanely good green charms and decent crimson charms so yeah so this episode i made 2.46 mil from five tasks so that's not bad that's about 500k task it's not great but it's considering it didn't actually take me that long to do these tasks Cor Coradel generally assigns pretty quick tasks it's really worth it and i got some great charms and um, I have got a new job that's starting on Monday, so rather than record, I recorded these episodes one evening and then the following morning, these clips from the Slayer, rather than do that I'll just record one or two tasks a day when I get back, so I'm finished all five and I've got to go to the gym and my gym is an hour away and uh, not, obviously it hasn't, so I'm not going to be actually getting home to like 8 o'clock at night, so do all that. And then I'll just upload episodes when I've got maybe five or six clips. I only do that many per episode. And I forgot to set my Slayer account in this episode, which is really stupid. But I'll set it, set it again at the beginning of the next episode. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I've been Trials95. Please comment, like, and subscribe. See you around.